Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another video. And this is a video response to Old Fashioned. And to quote, I say, so no resolution as to why you cannot export a project edited video in 360 mode yet. So I'm gonna provide an update. Uh, I have, as you can see here, Insta360 Studio version 5.2.4. And I've got in the media tab, I've got this project open. I just had a, uh, a raccoon eating a watermelon. Check that out. Now, if I do export from the project tab, these are the options I have. I can choose the resolution. Obviously, I go as high as 3840 by 2160. I filmed this one in 8K, 360 degrees. But there's nothing on here that is a 360 export option. So then when I go over to the, up here at the top, when I go to the media tab, um, as you can see here within the media tab, I do have, and I'll show you here in a second, there's George Cooney, the raccoon. Oh, subscribe and check out his videos too. I've got a playlist full of them and uh, thousands more coming soon. But on this tab, if I go down to the bottom right where it says start export, then you're presented with this box. Export reframe video, which would be obviously where I've done deep track or whatever, and I've tracked the subject, in this case, George Cooney, the raccoon. But uh, if I go over here to export 360 video, it does provide a 360 video export option. And I'm still confused as to why today being Friday, August the 30th of 2024, I'm still confused as to why this 360 export option is only available media, which is unedited project, but it's not available as an option within the project. I'd be curious uh, if anybody from Insta360 is watching my video. I love your product. It's awesome. And I also like your Insta360 Studio. It's awesome. But I'm deeply curious as to why the option to export in 360 is only available for the media and not for the edited project. Because as you see here, this is a video response to one of my many viewers, and it's just, it's just kind of weird. And an assumption could be that maybe people feel that the 360 viewing popularity is pretty, pretty low, and they're just wanting to emphasize using this as, yeah, you film in 360, but then you reframe. Maybe they're trying to push, uh, quietly push people in that direction. But for a lot of us, we would want to do both. I mean, most of my videos that I film on my S360 X4, I will reframe and export as a 4K video project. But there are times where I'd like to have a 360. So if anybody out there watching this has an explanation, please comment below. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.